First time winners, but Richmond in the Cup Series is a track that has belonged to the veterans. Is doing well at Richmond. We should have seen it coming. Old guys rule in <laughs> Richmond. They say Virginia is for lovers. But if the walls at Richmond could talk, admiration is not the whole story. They get sideways. Oh! Decades of historic battles, bumper to bumper, fighting for every inch of asphalt. Oh, he turned it! No! Oh, he turned oh, it! No! Round and round we go. Collisions threatening at every turn. Competition fueling. Trouble. Tempers flaring. There's a punch! That's what we love. The thrill of the chase. Now on FS1. Ah, uh, yes, it's time for Short Track Saturday night. It's time for the running of the Toyota Owners 400 for the seventh race of the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. And I got to say this right now, the night time is the right time. Let's go track side for the command. And now, race fans, here to say the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome proud owner of a 2022 Toyota 4Runner and VIP customer of Haley Toyota, Alex Williams. Richmond, Virginia, are you ready? Drivers, start your engine! Right, here we go cars on the racetrack right now i'm hyped for this race first first short track saturday night race of the year second short track of the season it's our first time winner in the last two weeks will we get another one today i don't think so but here we go kyle larson john hardy check lead him the green Going down the back straightaway for the first time in today's race, side by side for the race lead. There's going to be some pit stops in this race too, I should say that. And Larson leads the first lap, Kyle Busch moves the second. And Kyle Busch, we haven't really seen a lot of him in this season, and here he is. And Nemechek holding up Chase Elliott in the back. And here comes Kyle Busch for the lead on the inside. He goes to the inside, side by side for the lead. There he goes on by. Kyle Busch leads the second lap. And Kyle Busch, I think, has a really good car, I think, today. And here comes Logano as well. It's one of the better Richmond races I've seen in a while. Last year we didn't have a cup race here, I think, and Kyle Busch just leading this race right now. Justin Allgaier got his third Richmond win last night. Sorry for messing up the stats last night in the Xfinity race, but I promise I won't try to get him wrong ever again. No promises, though. Uh, uh, Kyle Busch uh, leading this race, and he's really good here at Richmond. A few wins for him. Caution waves, I think. Yep, caution. Oh, we got a crash here in turn three. Brad Kozlowski, Zane Smith in the 10. 17 of Busher involved. Let's take a look at what happened. All right, here's the replay. You see there's Suarez right there behind uh, Bowman right there. He gets into the 48 right off this corner. Sends him into Brad Kozlowski. And watch this. This gets ugly. Butcher hits Kozlowski, and Kozlowski goes flipping. I have never seen anything like that here in Richmond, ever. That's just wild. Yeah, I mean, this is just a bizarre wreck, because I did not expect it, really. You can see there, Busher. oh my goodness, look how much air Busher gets from just hitting Kozlowski, his teammate and owner. 
at RFK. Been three years since he's won a, a race. Last win came at Talladega in 2021 for Team Penske. Brad Kozlowski goes for a big tumble in Richmond. Here it is from the Goodyear blimp. Wow, this is... I was Going into this race, I wasn't expecting a flip here. I thought we were going to see a flip maybe three weeks from now at Talladega. But seeing one at Richmond tonight is just wild. Kozlowski goes for a big tumble. You guys are watching NASCAR on Fox. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. About to get the first restart of the race underway here with 31 laps to go. Lap 10, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, the Kyles, one, two, green flag is back in the air. Well, look at this, Logano going to the inside. Here comes Logano, winner from Phoenix, just second place. He's a pass winner here. And maybe he could become the first repeat winner in 2024 in the Cup Series. The only series this year to have a repeat winner in all three national series is the Xfinity Series, where Chandler Smith won his first two races back-to-back -back at Sonoma and Las Vegas in races two and three of the year. Oh, look at this. Pass for third right here. Christopher Bell. Coming up through the field right here. Up to third. Chase Elliott now making the pass. For fifth, Larson, who was our pole sitter, falls way back. Look at that, he's falling way back right here. Elliott gets around him. And Eric Jones side by side. Smoke right there, some speedy dry getting knocked in the air. Man, look at this! Look at Kyle Bush. I think he's losing some ground, maybe. Logano gaining ground. And I would say Kyle Busch is a good favorite, I think, to win this race. He hasn't been, he kind of fell off last, in the second half of the season last year. Throughout the season, not as great, but this time around, he's doing all right tonight in Richmond, I think. Still a long way to go. I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm not going to say he's going to lock it in the bag. Going back here, side by side, battle for fifth. Larson on the inside of Chase Elliott. Elliott right there going on the outside, Larson on the inside. I think Kyle just has the better car. He's gonna have the better car on the exit. There he goes. On by. Larson passes Elliott to fifth. Now here comes Nemechek on third place, Christopher Bell. Well, Kyle Busch still leads this race. We're going to go on a quick commercial break. You guys are watching NASCAR Cup Series Racing from Richmond. Welcome back everyone to Richmond Raceway, where Kyle Busch is leading, coming up on Riley Herbst in the number 36 car. We have 13 laps to go. <clears throat> and Brad, or, uh, Kiz, or Kyle Busch has led the most laps in this race. Yes, he has, and he has a 1.8 second lead, 1.6 second lead. This is a big lead for Kyle Busch, but I think uh, we might have pit stops. Might be happening in this race. I'm not sure about that. But, you know, Kyle Busch has just been running a 
good race all day, and I think uh, he might come out the winner, maybe. With Bell in second, Nemechek, Elliott, and Logano, your top five. 11 laps to go in Richmond. Navosh leading in the Cheddars, number eight. Coming to 10 to go. And here we go. Whoa, look at this. Battle for second. Pass for second. Nemechek goes to second place. Yep, and Chase Elliott on his bumper. Here comes Chase Elliott. Up to third. Nine laps remaining. Here from Richmond, Virginia. We can see there's a huge lead for Kyle Busch. This has to be his race. In order for him to hold on, he just stay out. A trouble in of the pits. Kyle Busch, who has 63 career NASCAR Cup wins. Looking for his first of the year, won only one race last year in 2023. Six laps remain. And that battle for second still happening. Still brewing up. Yeah, still brewing up right there, and I think if anyone's gonna win this race, it's gonna be uh, Kyle Busch. Five laps remain in Richmond. Top 10, Kyle Busch, John Hunter Nemechek, Austin Dillon, Eric Jones, Michael McDowell, Kyle Larson, Ty Gibbs, Joey Logano, and Christopher Bell. Four to go. Lap traffic, La or Ho Hosevar goes two laps down. Hosevar has been really off the pace, not doing that well today, and he's pitting. Nope, Hosevar stays out of pit lane. Two to go now at Richmond. Who's going to win this race? I think it's going to be Kyle Busch definitely here out front. And here he comes around to the final lap here at Richmond. Final lap for Kyle Busch. His last win came to the straight track September 2018. That year he swept the Richmond race. There's only one Richmond race now. Two of them back and... Here he comes. Win 64 to 8 of Kyle Bush. Checkered flag. He wins it in Richmond. Wow, great win there for Kyle Bush. Scores the win. Next race will be at Martinsville Speedway for the running of the Martinsville Race 400. And thank you guys for watching. Kyle Bush wins the race.